Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is very spur of the moment and I am feeling nervous because I feel like I haven't spoken from the heart in a long time. So I'm just trying to like get my get myself in a flow state so I can speak to you guys and get my message across. So I'm on here because I just want to spread love to you guys and I recently had an experience. Um, if you don't know, I've been on my healing journey for the past, let's say six, seven months now. Um, really longer, but I really want to consider this chapter of my life um, because it involves more people outside of myself. And I feel like for myself, I tend to isolate and it's not something that I think is, you know, helpful. I've tried therapy and it, uh, it wasn't exactly for me. I feel like I really need others and I need to talk to people that, or talk to people in a way that feels open. Let me back up and say by I've been out of my comfort zone with this chapter of my healing journey. So I've been around all kinds of people, people that tend to make me feel insecure and with YouTube and, you know, being on here, it's, it's very different. It's like when you're comfortable being somewhere and you know you're welcome, that's kind of what YouTube is for me. Like I'm on here and there are other people creating and it's all normal um, with my personal work. It's all normal for me um, and people are seeking me out particularly. So to put myself in these spaces where no one knows anything about me, um, we're all trying to heal and we're all there to be like vulnerable and open. It's a very different environment for me. And my most recent exploration journey was around love and um, my whole thing, I feel like with YouTube, um, makeup, fashion, all that, it really all has to do with loving myself and honoring myself. And I, you know, did that for years and then I found myself in a place where I was abandoning myself. So yeah, that's where I am now and that's why my content has shifted into less about like our body's aesthetics and more about how we express ourselves to the world and um yeah i really find that clothes support me i've always known this and when i am not honoring that part of myself that you know gravitates towards something that maybe is unconventional i don't feel like i love myself so this chapter and healing process has been fun and I think that's why I have really been enjoying color and there's more color in my life um, and so that's why I want to share this with you because it's it's such a like superficial thing to think um, you know clothes and fashion and shopping and all that kind of stuff but I I love it and I don't want to hide it and I also want to help other people connect with that part of themselves if they feel, felt like I did and felt like they were just kind of trying to shut a part of themselves out um, or shove it down because at the end of the day it's it's not honoring it's not loving and yeah I just kind of got sick of myself I have been feeling like I've been wanting to do different things and when I say different things, I mean go to new places, like be around people that get really get out of my comfort zone. Um, I, I've always been that person that loves having a support person. And I kind of don't want to do that. I love enjoying things with you know, the people I love, but I see how it definitely takes away from the self-esteem that I could have because I constantly feel like I need someone else to be there um, for me to say enjoy something or 
I need to not be the only person in my life that likes that said thing. Like for instance, like dance classes or um, for instance, one thing was weightlifting um, or like yoga, things where you go to places that people like sign up and collectively do something. Um, I am the only person in my life that likes just so, I mean, I have my mom, but like actively like spends hours on hours on it just in my little studio, just <laughs> sewing away um, for myself. So it's, you know, making that choice to be like, what I like is fine. And if I want to go seek it out, that's cool. I don't need permission from anyone else. Like I'm giving myself permission. And the word permission is something that I've been thinking about a lot because I think growing up, I constantly looked for adults and I wanted my peers to give me permission to be myself. So I was constantly looking at myself from the outside and very hyper aware of what everyone else thought was cool or good and I ended up losing myself and I did that throughout my adulthood. So now I am in this place of just openly sharing what I'm interested in. I can't share everything, I know, but I don't feel so much shame around the things that I like and in return, I ultimately just, it's not like I'm trying to brag about these things. I share these things because I want other people to give themselves permission and hope that they are giving themselves permission to like the stuff they like. And if there's something that's like uncool that we like, and this came up over the weekend where, you know, we're talking about TV shows and everyone has their thing. Everyone has their guilty pleasure and it's just silly to me there's all these like weird things that are uncool that we like and we call them guilty pleasures it's almost like if you don't want anyone to know you don't mention it until someone mentions it and you're like oh my god thank god he mentioned it because i actually enjoy that but like it's fine we're not gonna all get it that audio the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't just just is perfect because it's so true we don't all need to like the same stuff and we will we know that inside but there's something inside of us that just cringes at you know enjoying something that we feel like is like a bit odd you just gotta like try it and maybe you'll find your tribe you're never gonna find your tribe if you don't put it out there and that's you know i feel like what i've always tried to do here on youtube i just want to spread more of that kind of love and not be so afraid of of who I am and how I want to express myself and who I want to be around other people and actually be able to express that when I'm meeting new people um, or in a new place and I don't want to shrink back into being that little kid that feels like they have to stay quiet and I want to lead with curiosity so yeah I just wanted to share that with you all and hopefully this was a productive video um there's something about youtube that always feels a little bit performative to me and it's it's not something that i like and i think it's just because i've been doing this for a long time and i have practiced a lot on how to speak and i just hope that I've been in focus this entire time. Is it been focusing on my forehead? I feel like this video was okay. I definitely stared off into the distance a lot and I feel like that's something that is natural to me. And being around other people that, you know, don't make eye contact and just kind of daydream and pretend like they're talking to themselves is healthy. And I've witnessed so much of that and that's what I want to get back to because I... Yeah, I don't want to feel so scripted, but I also enjoy choosing my words wisely, so yeah, that's it. I am losing my voice, and I have, and I have to go to work, <laughs> so I have to like get it together and drink a bunch of water, and hopefully I can talk at work. So I'm gonna go, time to drive on over to my muggle job, muggle job. <laughs> I didn't even mention dancing. Oh my gosh. I want to make a part two to this and talk about my relationship with 
my body and how I'm trying to heal that. So hopefully I get to that eventually because that's it's very important to me and yeah, it has to do with all this. So thank you for watching and take care of yourself. Love yourself, you little human here on earth. I hope you're having a magical day. Make it magical. Do something special for yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye.